year long. And speaking of so, amazing, we got Siegel Joe. Siegel Joe versus Viev. V Siegel Joe has a set off zero, so you know this guy's good. Yeah, he has a set off zero, 48. 49, and this is, this is before the, zero, like, go! fell. This is when zero was still zero. Yeah, this, is, this was the god, like, Siegel Joe is the man who showed that the god could leave. Um, and I got to commentate that match with Mixed Ball, so I'm super excited. Um, Siegel Joe reparated Zenning Vex here, and um, on the other side, uh, VM with ISM. Um, VM is a zero suit main quite good, and right now it has been 20 seconds peeling each other out. There has not been a percentage laid on anyone. Again, a, a big part about the, uh, the Sonic matchup is movement. Viev, also a fan of movement, so okay, you're going to see movement. a lot of neutral in this match. A lot of neutral. Yeah, it's going to be heavily neutral, and that's really going to come down to who's going to be able to win the neutral most often. And it looks um, like Siegel Joe, that balloon actually extending the hitbox and uh, hit Viev there. Oh, and that was a really good use of uh, spin dash charge, the down B as opposed to the side B that I jumped going. Um, now, he does have... Um, Sonic, uh, obviously, Siegel Joe is known for a Sonic. However, he does also have a Diddy Kong here, so if Viev is able to steal this one, we could see that come out. But right now, Sonic is working really well, building a lot of damage, and uh, now Siegel will be looking for the kill here, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, Siegel definitely wants it, but he knows he doesn't have to go in. He knows you you got to approach me because I'm Sonic, I have a lead. Yeah, putting the onus on your opponent is really important for Sonic. And there it is. He bounces off the shield, the bear, but he gets the weak hit, so not going to steal that stock. Yeah, it was like the, the, the hitbox that was already out there. Like, his foot was out there, and Via just kind of ran into it. Bear, uh, again, doesn't look like one of those moves that has a weak hit, but it definitely does. Yeah. But uh, he's, got, he's got a little bit of rage. It's kind of like a sex kick almost. Almost, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, VSS does have a lot of rage, though. So an up could uh -oh. seal it, but that will seal Great it. Great conversion. Spin dash into a bear. Only doing 66%. Viev, I mean, if he can catch Seagull Joe sleeping and maybe catch him at the top with an up you know, it could be an early stock, but he still has a lot. Otherwise, he has a lot more work to do. Now, another big thing about this matchup is ZSS can't grab because Sonic is so fast, he can punish that from anywhere on the stage. Right, yeah. His speed is just too overwhelming. The only way that you're allowed to grab against Sonic in Zero Suit is if it is 100% confirmed. If it, is, if it is a Ruins guarantee. A Ruins guarantee. I only stuck over stuff that's guaranteed, so if it's one of those, yeah, you're getting it. Oh, good, good delay on that up air there. I mean, if he can get the kill here, like, pretty soon, he's only taking 42%. Zero Suit can make that up really quickly. She does have quite good combo game, but he does need to land the kill first in order to take advantage of that. And Siegel reverse is not... Siegel's forcing the approach, and Viev isn't approaching as much as he should, which means it's going to be a long match. Or I mean, it could we're, potentially we're, be. We're about three minutes in here, um, and, it, I mean, it's, it's definitely been not a slow match, but it's been uh, a long one. one. Yeah. And he just can't get back on the stage. He's been on the right for, a, yeah, for quite like, a while. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that like, Siegel has high, had a, a tough time doing. Is like, and so, like, except for now, like they finally reset the neutral, but Viev was in an advantage state there for a long, long time. Yeah, Viev already at 92. Oh, yeah. That's not going to be good. That's going to be an edgeguard situation. He's going to let him come back on. Smart by Siegel there. And again, Siegel doesn't have to do much. He does have this lead, and he's Sonic. And Sonic can do whatever he wants if he has to lead. Yeah, he really, yeah, he really has no... There's no, like, there's no onus on him to do anything. Yeah, he's, he's just running. And the back air, ZSS back air. Very One of the better ones in the game, taking out that Sonic stop. Yeah, it's decent, I suppose. It's, it's, it's all okay. right. It's I. I'll take it, but... All right, so 101 extra credit percent. The important it's... thing for Viev right now is going to be building damage. Like, avoid avoiding his own, like, he, he could take damage. Like, it doesn't really matter, because he's still, like, up air is going to kill him, back air is going to kill him if he's a strong hit, like. At this point, yeah, it doesn't matter how much damage you're at until, like, you get killed by Sonic's down throw, which doesn't kill. But... Right. So, like, right now, he just has to focus on not getting killed and doing damage. At this point, he might want more damage for the rage to kill him a little earlier. But Sonic, oh, he's just pummeling. Okay, he was going for a little mix-up there. Uh, the, Viev does not fall for it, though. So 126, uh, we have going back to his uh, middle stage, he does not want to get edge guarded, not a good situation for him. Sonic, uh, again, Seagull Joe forcing the approach, that could potentially be not the stop because he knows ZSS does have the frame 1 jab, so he just goes for the grab, gets the guaranteed damage. So potentially, uh, Sonic, Sonic might be able to kill her with an air at this point, because of all the percent he has. Back air, air not necessary, back air can take the stock. So, I mean, that was that was a grinder of a match there, but it was never, like, it was never dull because, like, they kept, like the, the neutral that they played was very smart. And I love that match, because again, my favorite part about this game is movement. Movement and neutral are by far my favorite yeah. part of the game, so I would love to see more matches like that. 
Yeah, it was really smart interactions um, by a lot of those guys. The, the most important thing, though, was how um, Seagull Joe was facing his back airs. Like, he, he never, like, seemed like he was throwing it out unsafely. Uh, whereas VF was doing the exact thing. So I have to imagine that we go here that we're going to be... Oh, I'm, I'm, I was going to say, I would expect Town & City. But we're actually going back to Smashville. We've seen a lot of Smashville today. Like, no surprise. It's generally a, uh, a stage a lot of people go to. Game one. And I wonder what Seagull's going to do here again. Because it's been a while since we saw an even game. Because that was quite a long match. So it looks like at this point he does want to get as much combos and damage as he can. And then play the, uh, the evasive game. Right, right. Which is a, a pretty good strategy. It works out pretty well. And it's, again, yeah, working very well. 76%. DSL is unable, unable to uh, get too much damage. And I'm really liking that VF is doing a good job like holding the stage though, because like in general, like in Smash, it's kind of like almost like in hockey, um, where time of possession is really, really important. Like if you can hold the ice and hold the puck for a long time in hockey, you're probably going to win. If you can hold the stage um, for a long time in Smash, you're probably going to win, because you're always going to force your opponent to be coming at you. Now VF looking a little cleaner, a little better this game. Uh, actually with a 100% lead. Something that we didn't see at all in Game 1. Now, I mean, we saw VF um, do a really good job keeping in the game, but instead, like, compared to how he's playing now, yeah, it's a much cleaner thing. Oh, with the back air. I'm shocked that kill. That might have been a little bit of a DI situation. Yeah, I think you're trying to DI to get away from the back air and just got caught with it, and so his DI was completely the wrong direction. That happens a lot. Um, leads to a lot of early kills. Yeah, it's so important in this game because it doesn't, it's not as effective as it was in Melee, so like, you have to be doing it early to get the most effect of it. Goes for uh, a little bit of a bait there, but Seagull Joe is a very, very good player. He's not going to fall for that, at least not this time. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think Seagull Joe like, number, what, 48 on Panda Global? Panda Global, and 48 out of the large number of players there are in the world. That's a, that's pretty good. Yeah, a few a few tens of thousands of Smash players. Just a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, there. The great wait. Like, he, he read the air dodge. He's like, okay, you're an air dodge now. And here's the up air. Claps him. He takes his stock. So it, even though VF was playing much better in that one, he found himself in a bad situation north of the stage and uh, caught an up air for it. Loses the stock, loses the game, loses the match. All right, so that was actually still pretty good showing from VF because, again, Tickle Joe is a good player. Yeah, Very good. Joe's good. So he's one of the many premier players that we have right now. Seagull Joe, um, as you just